This is smithy.tv. Hey, welcome to the Meltdown. If you are still watching this after how many episodes, you're a piece of shit like me. If you're not watching this, good, go fuck yourself because you're just like a social justice warrior like Amish Patel, who is a I'm white right. knight. Uh, I'm not hey, nice. I'm not and he has a pen in his t shirt. I found this on the ground today. Nice. Why wouldn't I Anyways, take a pen? okay, so. Uh, Why are you calling me a white knight? What the fuck is this now? What did I do? A white knight, someone who. What? Who, what did a, I do? A white what did I do that would, what would I do that kiss call? ass to... Yeah, whose ass am I kissing? I didn't kiss You won't ass. call a woman a slut? What? No, I just asked you why those guys got in trouble for saying something. Who got in trouble? I don't, those guys I from, uh, from Avengers, they got in trouble for calling... What Avengers? The movie? So the Avengers the movie, the two guys... Isn't it a cartoon? Avengers? No, oh, it's, it's the... movie the... with Robert Downey Jr., they put all the guys together. Okay, so go on, So tell two the of the guys, two of the guys, actually, JJ, you're ignorant right now. Because I have the opposite view of what you just said. Okay, well, tell it. Uh, they got in trouble for... Because they were like... Someone was like, oh, describe the Black Widow character. Which is a character from a comic book. And they both said, like, she's a slut. Yeah. And they were, like, joking about it. And they're in, like, a lot of trouble. For I don't what? know. There's, like, a Twitter fury. Who's who's this fury? But it's from? a fake... It's not a real person. Who? Even. A bunch of uh, faceless people with eggs? I don't who's, who's, know. Who's this Twitter I don't know. Fear? It's a people are who? pissed off. All these uh, I don't know feminists maybe. I don't know. I don't know who's pissed off. But Let me apparently, tell you something. here's the thing. What is it? Okay, maybe Ryan, you know better about this. Is it derogatory in itself? The word slut? Because no, what, it's what not. What if I think it's good to be a slut? It's like, good. What if I think First it's of good? all, let me tell you something. It's good to be a slut because I want someone more experienced. It's like buying a catcher's mitt at a fucking store, right? I, I don't... truly respect it. And yeah. thanks for stealing my bit, by the way. No, no, no. Oh, but, okay. but the thing is, the with... you're seriously going to get in the catcher's mitt? We did this on the show. Three the catcher's ago. mitt? That's my shit. How, when have you ever played baseball? No, you idiot. I'm talking, I'm talking about how, how like, like you, want, you, want to, you want a pussy like a catcher's mitt. Because if it's brand new, it's stiff, doesn't work well, whatever. Yeah, it pops you want, out. Yeah, you want a Dude, brand you want all of you idiot. I've been you saying that for shit. Are you Lower your voice. Shit? Dude, okay, let Ryan, me ask you a question. Ryan, I brought this up. You were like, oh, let me help let's, you with it. Right, right. He was like, he was like, let me help oh, you with it. That? I'll tell you, 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 oh, you helped me with it. Mitt. No, I said catcher's mitt. Well, listen, I you, brought it up. You, you just because no, just because I don't play baseball doesn't mean I don't have a fucking catcher's mitt. I came up with that catcher's mitt bit. And now you're stealing it like it's your fucking bit. I said I like a pussy like a catcher's mitt. Listen, you you play it's, it's cricket. Better, it's better as you use it. It's you know how you know thing. that's not a, a catch. He's never used a catcher's mitt because nobody a, ever goes like this. Nobody. This is not okay, a like fucking like catcher's mitt. No, no, no. It it's like picking pop. chips. I do this on stage. Tell me you haven't done this on stage because this is my bit. Yeah, all the time. I, I even I tweeted it out. Tweeted fucking, it out. I can't believe you're just gonna act like Did you I tell came you up that? with that. But no, I can I told you about it like a month ago here, sitting where we are and now. On and camera? you were and like, we have to and, and, then, the and then you said, and then you Bro. said, let me help you with that bit because I okay. If I said, uh, and then fine, you my me bad. With it a bit. And Fine. you were like, and then you turned to Goldhorn, and you're like, how come I'm not signed yet? Look at this riffing that yeah, I can do so Yeah, how come easily. I'm not signed yet? That's what you um, But anyway, okay, so these guys got so in trouble use, for calling. So use my jokes, that's fine in your bit. No. Whatever. Use my jokes in the bit. Fictional character, she's a fictional character, and they called her a slut, and they were in, like, tons of trouble for that, or something, or they had to apologize. I don't know if it was tons of trouble, they had to apologize for it. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. But I, like, so slut in itself is a bad word? No, it's not. Because, because can't you say it with love? Like, can you say it like, like I like the, I, I wish I could be. The only reason I'm not is because not that many people have sex with me. But I appreciate when they But are. why, why, why is that if a word works both ways, why is it only offensive if I say it to a woman? Like, I'm a slut. I'm a male whore. Well, you but, would be if someone would have sex with you. No, no. Essentially. But why is that? But you would be if people would have but sex why, with you. But why is that? I'm in the same boat. I'm not just insulting But you. why is it only offensive? This is what goes back to what we talk about. How come every week is a fucking problem we have? Every week we talk about the same shit because of the same problems. Of, that's what the social justice warrior, that's what they're called, right? The people who go on and... I don't know, and, you called me. No, the people who were... Yeah, well, yeah, but these, the, the social justice warriors are the ones who went and said you guys got to apologize. A, and they actually apologized. I, but I, his apology, this is how he apologized. He's like, sorry for calling a fictional character. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But for people who will say, it's not just like, it's everything. You can't talk about anything. Because if you, if you ever 
degrade a woman, uh, and not even degrade. If you say anything in uh, with uh, an adjective, like is that a slut? A slut? You could call her slut. That's an adjective, correct? Yes. Yeah, so it describes a noun. Yeah. What's, that, what are we conjugations? What, yeah. That, whatever. Who sure, knows whatever. what it is? But describe if you call her a slut, all of a sudden you're a misogynist. Okay. If you have an opinion like Bill Maher or Sam Harris about uh, the whole uh, Islam, about the religion, yeah. you're all of a sudden considered an Islamophobe. Why are people not allowed fucking opinions on something when they're not attack? And even if they are attacking, if someone brings up a good case, if you had but this is a fictional uh, character. No, like, no, you're talking about real I don't people. care about it. If you fictional. if you have a hundred fucking cocks in your cunt, then what are you? What are you? What are you? Are you just a run-of-the-mill, good fucking... You're a little bit of a slut. Oh, wait. So in that sense, you're a slut. You're a slut. What are you? <laughs> what can I call yourself? Do you just want to be called a woman? It's an empowered, sexually liberated but, woman. But, but that's a long-winded sentence. No, I'm, I, I, but I nobody's really saying would. it's a bad thing. Yeah, if I, I'm saying, no, some dude, people are saying it's a bad thing. No, no, no. But I don't think those guys meant it like a bad thing. But I think no, they but, were saying it like, oh, she's a slut. Like, yeah, she's a, she's a slut. I'm a slut. You're a slut. Well, we're all sluts. Slut, we slut, be, slut. We would be if we could, but yeah. No, what do you mean we oh, would be? Oh, because you're could. sometimes gay and like, you'll do... Like, it doesn't matter what I am. I, I, I've hooked up with four different chicks in the last three weeks. Why is it... What? So I'm a slut? I don't believe. Me and Goldar both don't believe it. We, don't, we don't believe. I don't it. give a fuck we what you believe. It. You <laughs> awful, ugly. How many? Being. How many of these girls? Had two cocks? were paid. How many of them were? Nine. Okay. <laughs> two were paid. Two were, two were escorts. Don't you can't you can't just say like, oh, I fucked four chicks. Two were paid. Two were escorts. Oh, I, I would, I would okay. Escorts did the other two have? Two penis? Did, let, okay. let me tell you okay. something. Okay. Oh, let me not. tell you something. Paid or not? Fine. Did the other two have penises? No, they were pussy. It, there were two people. Did they have both? What's that? Did they have both? No. I would love to have a hermaph. Is that what it's called? A hermaphrodite? Yeah. Yeah. I would take a hermaphrodite. Yeah, but you would love it. You would love it. That's a perfect. But where does it go on? That's perfect for JJ. Where would it go? Like, would it go one on top? Is it side to side, or is it? on top of each other. Is it like Jenga's? You take a fucking dick from the bottom and you put it on top. Yeah, maybe. Is that how it is? Yeah, basically, while you're having sex with the vagina, the penis is basically resting on top of you. See, but ever everyone says you can. Oh yeah, just you can put. But as soon as you put it in, it would get hard, so it doesn't work. But anyways, my my whole point is is that we have a problem. What makes the views of pe there's a slut walk? Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. So if there's there a slut walk, so there's a slut walk. So what makes it right? Is it like the N word? Like only a slut can? No, say no, 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 no. My point is? is, the people who are slut, like they'll say we're slut shaming. Yeah. By saying sluts. But what about a gay best friend? Because gay best friends are like, shut up, slut. You're such a bitch. Like they they say bitch and slut yeah, to their because, girlfriends. Yeah, no. Because gay people are a lesser person. Nobody cares what they think. But, uh... <laughs> the thing is that you're... I guess it's okay for you to say that. Cause it's you, okay you for me. You fucked a bunch of dudes. But listen, the seriousness is, the people who are making the rules are the people who are not even in the groups. It's the people... Yeah. This is the biggest problem. That's, the, the people who are making the rules, the people who are making it, are... It's the same people... The yeah. problem with government, the government's making the rules yeah. on what you eat, what you do, or, you know, what gets, ta there's a I went, yesterday I was in Windsor doing a gig, I went mm -hmm. to Windsor and back, 10 hour drive, there and back, yeah. to do one gig. Right. And before the gig, I went to Caesars Palace Casino, played a little one, three, no limit uh, yep. po poker. Okay. Uh, first time I played live poker in uh, three years, mm -hmm. so four years almost since I become a professional. And I won 150 bucks within the first 40 minutes. And it was such a good feeling. And the guys were asking me, why did you stop playing poker? Well, because when uh, the government sees the online poker accounts, poker stars, like if you go on yeah, poker stars yeah, or you go on part of in, in the US, it comes up FBI warning, they've seized the domains. So now, but they only seized it, I've talked about this before, because they weren't making money off that. Yeah. They don't give a shit. No. Like, why Why is it? Dude, why? have you seen the lottery system over there? No, it's but that's what I'm saying. It's all poor people buying it. They're getting fucked. Like, it, but, but the let, government owns it, so it's but okay. But why is it that if I'm a guy who works a 9-to-5 job, I work my ass off, I pay my fucking taxes, 
I can't go home at 6 p.m. and fire up a $20 game yeah. because they weren't making money off it. Now what they're That's doing... That's just an example. No, JJ's never worked a 9-to-5 job, but anyway. No, on. but now what they're doing is they have the government imposing because they weren't making money. They saw how much money was going yeah. on, so they put a three-year ban on. Now they're having state legislation where you can, in certain states, you, you can play. But it's the same with Uber, man. Uber versus these taxi medallions. It's like the government makes money off taxi medallions. Well, right. Like $300, no, be, it's not even the taxi medallions. Bullshit. The government owns the fucking taxi uh, plates. Through the me medallions. Yeah. Through these medallions, they're like $300,000. No, they're like $400,000. 400000 in Toronto. The last couple in New York sold for a million dollars. It has nothing to do with fucking regulation. It's just about these million dollar medallions. And that's why cabs are such shitty drivers. They can't make any money. They, all the money goes to these medallion payments or whatever. What, what's this girl's name? Elizabeth Warren? Is that the Democrat? Yeah. Is she the is. Democrat? See, this she's is the problem. She's fantastic. She's amazing. She's amazing. She's so much better than Hillary Clinton. Clinton just has a name. This is who needs to run for president uh, of the United States is Elizabeth Warren. They'll kill her, man. And she's too no, good. No, she's it's not good. that they will kill her. It's that everyone... This is why it's corrupt. For those who don't know, she's... She's, she goes against big banks, she goes against big oh, corporations, people love her, but as soon as she goes against them, they say, if you keep on supporting her, we're going to pull our fucking money. Yeah. This is a big problem. And that's why the uh, a Republicans are going to win this year, because the Koch brothers said they're going to give $900 million go to the campaign. But they're all the same. They just go back and forth. It's the same that's thing. That's why I don't know why Hillary's running. I feel like Hillary, like... It's two, two. Yeah. It's like basically over there. It's like two Democrats. It's gonna go Republican now. You can't run. Right well, now. it's it's a money thing. It's a money. It's a. I I guess just, she, she probably gets paid to run. I just watched this Vice documentary about the cancer. So have you seen this? No. So they for years they know that there's ways to uh, getting certain leukemias in remission. First was by uh, injecting pac patients with the measles. I think it's like a ninety percent remission rate. Wow. Something like that. Then the study goes into HIV. So now they can uh, infect you with HIV, but without the, I don't know what the clinical term is, where they can get you HIV, but it's not where it kills you. Yeah. Right? They can put the strand of HIV, and what HIV does, it eats up, I think it's the cancer proteins. Okay? Right, right, right. They know it's out there, and they know it works. Yeah. But oh, it won't be FDA approved until 2016, until the government and the pharmaceutical uh, companies get their hands on it, so they're making from insurance God companies. damn it! This is what's so corrupt about the, the society we live so in shitty. it's the biggest pieces of shit the top one percenters yeah. and that's a it's a problem and it stall it starts from there and that's why we have these social justice warriors because they I can't financially they that why no, can't you fight that because why? you know what they can't financially do it so now they're taking moral issues but nobody this is why i'm saying this is the other problem everybody wants I'll to fight. fight for equality in the united states of america yeah. we have feminist groups but nobody wants to fight for the equality sam harris who I love for saying this, when there's when when people are still getting killed because they're gay or they're women in certain fucking countries, that woman who got stoned to death because she was raped, she because she defaced her family. This is why I love listening to these guys. Because everyone So what it, is he saying about that? That that these people here should be fighting for that person? You should be if you really want to fight if you want to be a yeah. true feminist. Put on the fucking pink outfit and go into with the rest of the ladies that do it in India who are fighting us off oh, rapists. Oh, you saw that one too? The, uh, pink, yeah. the pink rose game? The pink rose game. If you want to be a that, real feminist, go, go put on the fucking outfit fuck. and go fight for that. You know what? And it, except telling me I'm a fucking misogynist because I say cunt or you're a slut, you're a slut, you cocksucking whore. Anyway, <laughs> let's edit that Take out. it easy. Yeah, uh, well, let's cut that. That's but it's the truth. What? 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 I, honestly, I okay. Can okay. I'll say this, and don't fucking steal my bits, please. I think your bits are pandering. I and think hacked. settle down. I I actually think that is a hard time to be a, a straight white man, and they're being oppressed. No, and this is like people give me shit for saying this, but I remember I was doing a show where it was like a diversity night, and people kept making fun. People kept making fun of how like oh the white man's holding us down, the white man whatever, and then this poor guy, he's middle aged. Balding, overweight, lives in a basement, girlfriend left him before they got married. He's having a hard time in life. He just listened to all of us just rip on him for being like, if I was a white man, I could do this, I could do this. It's there, hard to be a white man. No. You got no excuses, you got no one to help you. I'm in a better position than like most white men. No, I, and I feel bad going on stage being like, oh, if the you, white I, man wasn't holding I me actually, down. I actually, I actually. No one's holding me down. I, I don't feel any. I, from them. I, I feel bad for the, I feel I felt bad for him like we were all shaming him and making fun of him that night for being a white man. 
I, I don't find it difficult being a white guy because I don't let the bullshit get to me. He looked sad in that night. No, no. He looked, by the time he went up, he looked like sad. Like we broke him down a bit. I, like, I, yeah, like he went up like, guys, I have no excuse. I should be a fucking millionaire uh, suit guy. Uh, running a corporation, but I'm a loser. I'm but, sorry. But like, why does that define success? Why did be wearing a suit and running a business define success? Why can't the fact that I'm doing I'm doing this podcast with you on a Friday afternoon at 1.30. Listen, how is that? I'm happy. Look how I dress. I'm a happy person. I wear the same jeans every day. I, one I wore this jeans. shirt third day in a row because two days ago, like two girls smiled at me. But what? With but, this shirt, and and I was like, "There's some, this is it. This but, is the shirt. I'm gonna get a phone number in this shirt before I wash it." Yeah, maybe it's a phone number to a cleaner, a dry cleaner. But what, well, it's not going to be. <laughs> it's not going to be an escort, you, you fucking cheater. Yeah. Uh, but why? But, uh, why is that what defines success? Why is it difficult yeah. to be a white? Why is it difficult? I, I know the difficulties of being a minority. Well, this is where we're really going to get in trouble. Have you seen the pay? Uh, so, so, the, so I started thinking about pay about inequality. Getting in trouble. Well, I do because well, I'm, I'm not making. Big, listen, I'm not going to get. Here's the reality. Trouble. I don't give a shit don't about getting in trouble. I know. I'm not making any fucking money. But I was watching a thing about pay inequality, right? <laughs> and they were talking about how men get paid more. A lot of it is because they're willing to do shitty, awful jobs. Not so just like, shitty, awful jobs. Shitty, awful, they and also evil, and evil jobs. They also will strive for higher paying jobs. Yeah, but, That's but a fact. part of that, part of that is because okay. So if you watch a documentary about the financial collapse, right? All these guys are like put those debts together, sell into these guys, like the people that fucked over the country, that that fucked over America, that fucked up the financial system. It's all men, and there's always like the women are there, like crying, like I tried to sell them, but they wouldn't like. Dude, I've seen like three documentaries like that. It's not it's just all, all white men. men. I'm telling you. It's, and it, here's the thing. They'll, they'll, but the thing, the whole pay and equality thing, it doesn't take that into account. It's like at the end of the day, women are happier and live longer and men make more money. But men are doing shitty, awful stuff for that money. Like going up to Fort McMurray to work. That's like all dudes, oh, all yeah, jail guys, going, right? That's Explain a, that's what a, Fort McMurray is. So Fort McMurray is like this awful place where you could it's work. Not and make awful. Like, it's not uh, You can make uh, 100000 a year, yeah, but it's, it's dead it's, cold winter. Yeah, it's, it's in Calgary, or it's in uh, Alberta. Alberta, It's yeah. the oil. Yeah. But, but there's a lot of jobs like that. They're awful jobs. They're like crazy hours, but it's only men who go and work those shitty jobs. So as a result, they have more money, but women have like a longer and happier life. But I feel like but what's, what's the point of the money? The point of the money is to have a longer and happier life. They just cut out the middleman. No, but you... Like, they're going straight for the... You mu- think a long, happy life's living to 80 years old. Some people don't want to live to 80 years old. Some people... Some, you want to live fast and die young? You no, I'm not saying fast? that, but if I'm 80... If I'm in my 80s, I don't want to be... Um, what's his name? Who, who's the guy? Uh, Michael Douglas's father. Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. He's really struggling, correct? He, he can't he's even... He's an old man, and he had a stroke. Right, he had a stroke. And he's living out... His latter years of life, we can't. When I saw him on uh, on Letterman or whatever, it's, he can't even talk. You're talking about uh, a legend, and yeah. some sometime now, Kurt Cobain died way too young. Yeah, no, he died just right, just the right time. Just the right time. Well, that's the best yes. time for his career because he, he, he stopped him from putting out more music. Yeah. Oh, so, so no, he's just but, genius, but right? I'm saying, yeah, it, it, I agree with that too, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, because yeah. nobody knows the downfall is hard, but. Downfall. Well, he, he could have had a downfall. He could what? have had a shitty a bunch of but albums. Downfall? I'm telling you, they got rid of him at just the right time so that we didn't have to suffer anymore. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like his music? Uh, no. Oh, you didn't like his first album? No, no but that's 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 a, just you, that's though. A everyone, lo- everyone loves his album. They cha- album. Nirvana, cha- Nirvana changed uh, a yeah. generation. I yeah, totally. I told you that Kurt Cobain killing himself created the greatest comic book character of all time, though. Who's that? Who's that? So there's a book. First greatest comic book character so, ever. So uh, DC Comics for a Vertigo has a book called Preacher. Mm-hmm. And there's a character in it who's this kid who's the son of a, a small town sheriff. And uh, you know, like, This is have, why you need a mic, by the way. Yeah, well, I can talk loud enough that it picks it up. And, uh, and he, uh, he shoots himself because, uh, you know, there was all those copycat people who shot themselves in, in the face because Kurt Cobain shot himself in the face. Oh, okay. Jesus Except Christ. Except he survives. Oh. <laughs> and after the surgery, he's got this mangled face 
and they call him Arse Face because he looks like his face is an ass. Like, like an asshole. That's cool, Arse Face. That's that's arse fair, face. that's fair. I just want to leave on this too. Uh, I just want to say this because I said this last night. I'm, I'm reading the Richard Pryor book, who uh, is one of my biggest influences. Yep. And in the book, it talks about Lenny Bruce. And someone asked me, what kind of comedy do you want to do? Do you want to, you want to like, I, I don't know what I want to do. I just want to be myself and speak my point of view. But it's amazing that Lenny Bruce will forever go down as one of the greatest comedians. And if it wasn't for a guy like Lenny Bruce, we, I wouldn't be able to do what I do today. Uh, Pryor wouldn't have done what yeah. he did. And the way he died, he would do shows. He'd get arrested. He did shows where nobody was laughing, but he changed yeah, yeah comedy and the thing is people say that like you wouldn't want to watch him but you love that he did what he did but it's 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 a thing is that he never got to enjoy what he did that's a crazy thing yeah. that's and that's what you decide in life do i want to enjoy it and be okay or do i want to leave a fucking mark i think you can do both but yeah. you know they found him dead on the floor with a syringe uh, uh, a needle in him same with john and, belushi yeah. and, and that's or the thing yeah. yeah jim belushi i don't know how many people get to enjoy their life when they're fucking great artists, but the impact you make is changing so many people's lives. So, I mean, fuck it. Sometimes, sometimes you can't, you can't, you can't love it. You know, you struggle with it, but the struggle makes you great. And, and maybe there is, I, I don't know what's gone after, but. I think getting lost in, in your work is the closest you can be to happy, to, to really content. I don't know what, it, I don't know what happiness is, but I just know I'd rather be doing this then fucking in uh, a job I can't do it. I can't do the job. I'll never do it. I can't do the job. That's why when you said nine to five earlier, I was like, no, you didn't well, do I, that. I don't do nine to five. Right. But I'm just, but I respect you if you do, man. I respect you if you do. It's cool. But if, if you, you don't do. like it, tell your fucking boss. Go fuck yourself. And anyways, drive an Uber. We're, yeah, yeah. Do, yeah, do whatever you want. Do just shit. tell your boss. Go fuck yourself. Because you know what? You'll, do you'll, you, boo boo. Because no matter what, you'll do you me. might be out of a job, but in in about five weeks. They're gonna wake up at 3 a.m. and like I can't believe that motherfucker told me to go fuck myself. And you're right. gone past. It. Anyways, this is the meltdown at Craig J Lieberman at Fader Brown at TV Smithy. Find us on iTunes. Uh, just uh, TV Smithy. Find us on YouTube. TV Smithy and go fucking. Uh, it's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Get high. Get drunk. I don't drink, but get yeah, high and uh, fuck unprotected sex. Yeah. Have fun protected sex. It's fun. Okay, that's it.